Hi everybody, this is Shannon back at the Fairfield County District Library again, um, another Imagine Your Art program. Today's artist is Dale Chihuly. He is an American glass sculptor. So he was born in 1941 and he's still alive. So we have a living artist today and you can actually go see him in Washington State because he has something called the Pilchuck Glass School, something he um, founded in Washington State, and it is a glass blowing school where you can go learn how to work with glass and other art um, projects as well, but glass and even children. So he has classes for adults and he has classes for children there. There's a summer class, you can do a four week class, an eight week class, a 12 week class. So if you think this is really cool, you know, there's a way to learn this stuff. Actually, I should also mention the Glass Museum downtown because they have some glass blowing classes and things also. Um, so once, once COVID-19 is gone and we can go back in there for their classes, we can learn how to work with glass there also. So today, Chihuly, um, let's talk about his art for a minute. He does have art here in Ohio that you can go see. If you've ever been to the Franklin Park Conservatory, uh, you may have seen some of his work. I have brought the giant Chihuly book. This has all kinds of his work in it. It also has a chapter on, guess what? The Franklin Park Conservatory. So this is in Columbus. And you can go see all the plants and you can also see Dale Chihuly's artwork. So this is one of the things that is there. There's the Franklin Park Conservatory in another exhibit. And this is one of my favorites. This is inside the conservatory also. There are waterfalls and little ponds and floating on that water are glass balls that have come from Dale Chihuly's studio. So Franklin Park Conservatory is a very neat place if you haven't been there. All kinds of interesting plants and interesting artwork. Uh, let's see, there are some other pictures in here. This, this is a great book, lots of very vibrant pictures. This is actually an installation that's on the ceiling. So if you look up, it's all lit. And it's beautiful, isn't it? A lot of his artwork was inspired by sea life. So you might see some sea forms in here. Here's another one. Separate pieces of glass work. Really beautiful. And of course, more of the, the art balls. This one has a lot of them in a boat. And they're actually pretty large. You can only see them in person. So they look almost like marbles, don't they? But they're big glass balls. So Dio Truly has got some very interesting artwork. Uh, we just got a new book. I'll share this one also. This is a new book at the library. So this is one you can check out. This is an adult book. This is a juvenile book. Both available here at the main branch. This one's called World of Glass, The Art of Dale Chihuly and it's by Jan Greenberg. And I just wanna show you one of the pictures in here. This is Dale Chihuly's studio. So he's got a great big studio in Washington, um, Washington State, that's called the Boat House. And it's a hot shop is what they call it. A hot shop is where they make all of these glass sculptures. So on this page, you can have a picture of them working on one of their projects. It looks like one of those big glass balls, but look at the um, equipment they're wearing. It must be really hot in that hot shop, but it produces some really beautiful artwork. So, Dale Chihuly, you ready for your project today? Dale Chihuly said he never met a color he didn't like. So you see there are lots of big, bright, bright colors in his artwork. We're going to try to make some of our own. So we're going to try to make our own glass sculptures, only we're making them out of plastic, but they're still pretty. All right, so you want to protect your surface. Let's look in the bag here. I have a piece of paper. All that is for is protecting your surface. So, so move that one. Okay. We have a surface. Because we're using permanent markers, it can stain. So you need to be careful. Try not to get them on your clothes. Wear old clothes and protect your surface. Do not get it on the table. Your grown-up probably would not be too happy with you. Um, so try to keep it on the project and on the paper. Okay, 
Also in here we have wax paper. This is for putting your project in the oven. So one of the projects that we're doing does require heat from the oven. Use a grown up, use pot holders, be careful, use caution. Also in here we have paper towels. Okay. We have markers and instructions and some of the materials that we're working with. Ping pong balls. If you noticed in the pictures, he does use a lot of glass balls and some little plastic cups. So for this project, preheat your oven to 350 because you're going to want to melt them down a little bit. Color on your cups, however you want to color, um, whatever you want to do, patterns, stripes, lines, um, the felt tip marker. You should have two felt tip markers in your bag. Those are the ones with the bigger ends. So I have two. And I might just make lines. Okay, that one is one of the little sharpies. It's not making lines. You can use the markers that are in your bag, or if you have other permanent markers at home, you can use those. And just color on it however you would like, whatever design or pattern. Make some stripes. The darker and more filled in it is, the more filled in and darker it will be on your finished product. So you want to color. Um, you can put some other designs on it if you want to, if you want to do a flower or something. The interesting thing is on the finished product, seeing what this is going to look like. So just color, color it in as much color as you can get on there. Um, yeah, however you want to color it. Mix your colors, fill it up. And then you're going to put it on a baking sheet on top of your wax paper. And you're going to want to put them rim side up. And then you just put them in your oven for one to two minutes. Keep an eye on them. It's really fun to watch and see what they will do. And this is what you'll end up with. So if you put it with rim side up, it kind of melts down and makes an interesting shape, kind of like Shukuri's artwork. Um, if you look down here, I did put some color in the bottom. So you just right on the inside, you can add color. Just like that, just right down on the bottom, and then you'll have color on your art inside your artwork that you can display. Uh, the little cups, same thing. Oh, look how that melts down in the oven. So it goes from this, which you will color on just the same way, to an interesting shape. So put them in your oven, watch them, take them out when you think they've melted down. Don't leave them in there too long. One to two minutes is about enough time. This one, see how the rim is darker? This one went in the oven this way. So that works too. It still melts down a little bit, but it gives you the white color and then the rim. Those are different ways you can do it. It's up to you. Experiment. You've got two cups. You can do one each way. Okay, so that's how you're getting the flower looking Chukui artwork. I have some other projects here too. The ping pong balls. These work the same way. Use your color. Use your color. Hang on to them. Color whatever kind of design you would like. I have a dark design on this one using three different colors. On this side, I've got my smaller tipped marker. You'll have one of those in your bag also to make finer lines. Okay, so what do you do with the ping pong balls after you color over them? 
Well, you can add them to your garden. You can put it in with your plants, if you have plants in home, house plants, or if you have gardens outside, it gives it a little more color to your garden. Julie really liked botanical gardens. He loved them as a child. You can find a lot of his artwork at them, like the Franklin Park Conservatory. But that's not all. So on the back of your instructions, there are several different options. The first one is the Chihuly glass sculptures. Uh, the second one is made out of coffee filters. I didn't bring an example of that today, but that's a fun one to do if you have coffee filters at home and you can use the same markers. Uh, the third one is the Chihuly spirals. I did bring one of those to share today. So with the Chihuly spirals, you take a water bottle or pop bottle, plastic bottle, and use your markers and just color on it as much color as you want. And then you will cut them in the spirals. And if you put several of them together, it makes a really neat hanging sculpture. A lot of Chihuly sculptures hang too. So how do you cut it? Well, I've got scissors. After you're done coloring it and letting it dry a little bit because you don't want marker all over your hands, this might also be a good job for a grown up. Kind of pinch the water bottle a little bit and use your scissors to cut it and cut the bottom off because you don't need the bottom. It might be fun to decorate too and hang it, but you don't need the bottom. So you have a water bottle without a bottom. Then you want to cut spirals. It's just one long spiral. So you just cut and you leave about about an inch or so and just cut right at the bottle. Just kind of like it on a slant as you're cutting the spiral. Just all the way around. Top. Just be careful not to cut your spiral off. Keep them going. And you have another spiral. And if you put several of them together, it makes a really interesting hanging sculpture that you can hang in your window or somewhere where you're getting lots of light. So there are all kinds of Chihuly inspired projects out there. So have fun with your markers. Color just on things you're supposed to color. And see what you can create. And if you get a chance, check out Franklin Park in Columbus. You see a lot of really cool original Yale Chihuly sculptures. And for the art show, yes, we want to encourage you to take pictures of your projects. And on your instructions, you'll see the email address. Uh, if you send us a picture of your project, we're going to include it in our virtual art show. Uh, which will be in July. So take pictures of the things that you create. If you want to be featured in that art show, send us a picture and we'll include you. Uh, so have fun with your projects, send us a picture, whatever masterpiece you have created, and we will see you next time. Have a good day.